Yes, YouTube massive. What's up? How's everyone doing? Your boy with Sema, DJ Sever Two British Nerds. That's me. Hope everyone is well and doing well. Let's jump right into it, beautiful people. So, like, I'm just I've just switched the camera on, and I really I'm kind of like all over the place because I'm I'm feeling a bit a bit run down, and it's funny because we, we've just moved from August to September, and I woke up today like hands are kind of cold, feet were cold had like a little headache, I was like all over the place and what the other thing that really ticked me off the last few days I've been sort of like unbalanced, I've been not unbalanced, I've been trying to adjust myself um, in regards to, okay let, let's pause in one place, so around before summer kicked in, um, before March basically, yeah before March you know I was always getting up at six in the morning doing my workouts and getting you know and then basically eating shower and producing my content. When it came towards like summertime, my hay fever kicked in and you know, me waking up at six in the morning, I couldn't do it because I was so smashed and just all over the place in regards to like feeling achy, waking up, just totally run down, mash up, aches and pains, drowsiness, dizziness, like all over the place. So now basically I'm trying to adjust back to waking up for six in the morning every day to get that structure back on. But because I haven't woken up six in the morning for a very, very long time, it's when even when I go to bed early now and I wake up, I'm feeling kind of tired. So it's that's also making me feel a little bit tired because I need to adjust my body, and my mind and everything to that particular time. Um, so basically, I'm trying to build up that structure again, because, that structure again, because it was super healthy for me, for me, because me waking up in the morning, I love it. I get to work out. And then basically, you know, after that, I eat, shower and I've got so much I've got a hours in the morning to work on my craft being of course YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, whatever it might be and really have the day to do more things like um, create content for LinkedIn, um, DM basically or email brands for brand work or influencer marketing or affiliate marketing, whatever it might be, just really get a whole day packed in. But the last few days I've been just like kind of all over the place trying to align, align myself and it's just kind of made me feel like I'm not doing any work, but I am. But it's just that I need to adjust my structure back to how it was before. So I guess we all go through this once in a while where our structure gets a bit tangled up in regards it could be to like my situation regarding health or maybe you may have gone through a personal situation whatever it might be um it's always a good it's always happens but it's, it's never a, don't ever look at it as it's a bad thing that you you're not doing work it's just that when life takes over life takes over you know so i guess that's what i really wanted to say so i'm getting it back together in regards to creating content. Um, one thing that I'm going to be doing more of is IGTV because I love it and really just pumping as much YouTube videos I can on a daily basis. I average around six, I'll say six or seven YouTube videos a week. Um, you know, I want to push hard and really get my message out there and really just grow and do my thing, man. Um, IGTV, I'm loving it because there's so much attention left on the table. What I mean by that is a lot of people do not create content for IGTV because they say, no, it copies Instagram. There's no one on there. You can't monetize. Everyone's making content on YouTube. IGTV, is, it's nothing. But they don't understand that tomorrow Instagram can just say, you know what, guys, girls, you can monetize basically from tomorrow if you meet this criteria. Being, for example, you have like maybe like 30, 40, 30, 40,000 views or you have over 15,000 followers on Instagram. So you never know when the tables can turn, which is why I'm, I jumped on IGTV as soon as it basically came on the scene. In the beginning, I was creating content on it, creating content on it and I just sort of like stopped. And it was only recently when I saw Gary Vaynerchuk posting loads of IGTV content, and it made me realize, cool, like Gary Vaynerchuk is treating his Instagram account basically like a channel, like YouTube. So I was like, cool, what I'm gonna do now is, I'm going to treat my Instagram basically um, page regards to IGTV like my YouTube channel. And as soon as I'd done that, I saw increase in attention, growth, shares, insane views, likes. So it's working for me and I'm going to continue doing that because it works. So that's what I, that's what I really wanted to say about what I'm up to and literally in regards to my thoughts on um, IGTV. I guess in a, in a nutshell, in a nutshell... IGTV has attention, TikTok has attention, LinkedIn has attention, but everyone's so caught up basically in Instagram or Snapchat or YouTube, the big platforms, but they're not basically, well, 
they're not actually looking at the micro, for example, IGTV, for example, TikTok, which, which has, has allowed me to grow very, very quick. I get more organic traction on TikTok then when I first open up my Instagram account, if you have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, smash the YouTube subscribe button, smash the YouTube bell button. If you need me for anything and everything, please don't be scared. Drop me a DM. What's a DM button? I don't know. I can't remember. Sorry. Drop your comments down below or DM me and we can literally, um, of course, talk. Peace.